Hi, I'm Bobby with Ranch Hand. Today we're going to show you how to install our Legend Series rear bumper for your Ford F-250. Not only will this bumper make your truck look nice, but if you ever get rear-ended, you're going to be happy that you had it. Here is what you're going to need. Test light, wire cutters, rat tail file, flathead screwdriver, 13 millimeter socket, 21 millimeter socket, an air ratchet, and a 21 millimeter wrench. First step is to remove the factory bumper. Remove the two bolts near the hitch with a 13 millimeter socket. Next, remove the bolts that connect to your frame with a 21 millimeter socket. Disconnect the seven-way trailer plug and pull out the wiring so you can extend the bumper a little bit before removing it. Work to remove all the factory wiring inside the bumper. You will want to use the wire cutters to snip all the zip ties, tape, and electrical connectors holding the wiring in place. This may take some time. Fish the now loose wires out of the bumper. Remove the bumper. You won't be needing it anymore in the installation process. To attach the license plate light, snip the factory light. With the test light and the brake lights on, you will discover which color light is carrying the positive charge. Attach the wire from your license plate light and crimp it with the connector. Remove the outer bracket with the 21 millimeter wrench. Now you're ready for the bumper. To install the bumper, you'll need three people for this process. You can temporarily rest it on the trailer receiver for support. Make sure you hold it securely for the individual beneath the truck. Hand tighten the factory nuts to hold them in place. Before you tighten down the bolts, ensure that the top plate is level and that the gap between the bumper and body is equivalent. Once you make sure that the bumper is level, tighten it down. Now for the license plate light. With a file or some rough sandpaper, file a little of the paint off to get a good ground for the license plate light. Separate the bulb from the lens with a flathead screwdriver. Feed the bulb through the bottom hole and reconnect the lens and snap it into place. You can check the connection by turning on the headlights. Next are the sensors. Pop out the 7-way connection plug and it snaps into hole in the factory bumper. It then snaps into the new bumper to the left of the license plate area. Plug the existing wire from the 7-way plug back in. There are four sensor holes on this bumper. First, install the rubber grommets that came with your installation kit. Then install the factory sensors that are part of your truck. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy your new rear bumper. I'm Bobby with Ranch Hand. Thanks for watching.